floor cleaning machines. I'll admit it, not the most glamorous of items, but every year in Europe, cleaning companies are spending more than 7.2 billion euros to pay for people who simply operate these machines around the building. Every day, on the same route. And then on top of that, they have to pay for a person who's monitoring this cleaning process. This is a process ripe for performance monitoring and automation. And these cleaning companies know it. It's the reason why they're putting a lot of pressure on the manufacturers of these machines, demanding that they do more to improve them. We saw this firsthand in an exhibition last year in Berlin, where we spoke with more than 30 manufacturers. All of them admitted that they needed to do more to improve their machines. Without boring you with all the technical details, in order to automate the cleaning machine, you need to be able to track its real-time position inside a building and over a period of time. And this is where Squad Robotics comes in. We're providing manufacturers with an asset performance monitoring system and an indoor sensor system that employs hybrid computing. With these systems in place, manufacturers can monitor their machines already tomorrow and they can automate them within a year. And once autonomous, our system allows for several machines to communicate with one another and execute tasks together in teams. We start with commercializing the indoor positioning technology that is used for asset performance monitoring. Once we have a partnership with the manufacturer, we're moving on towards automation. And then the third step is to put our layer of swarm robotics on top. This is the way we lock in the manufacturer. Manufacturers with squad robotics in place can generate new revenue streams by selling our asset performance monitoring system to their existing customers. Secondly, they can reduce the operating costs for their customers by taking away the human labor component. And thirdly, they can generate better products by using the data insights that they get from their products. Manufacturers can purchase our technology through an ongoing licensing fee that we call robot as a service. And the good news is that there's some money that we've already attracted for our company. The four famous Fs, founders, family, friends, and fools. We've attracted Impermature Pre-Seed Soft Loan. We've just graduated from Startup Bootcamp IoT London Accelerator Program. And we have attracted some EU grants in form of help from Manufacturing Technology Center and also Fraunhofer Institute. And we're also validating our technology through pilots. We have six running pilots where we equip nearly 12,000 square meters worth of facilities and we have tracked cleaning equipment for more than 6,700 hours. In this specific example, we were able to show that cleaning company that with, they thought their staff was cleaning the building. In fact, only 60% of it was clean. You can see it there in the blue. They never set foot in any of the white corridors at the end there. It is insights like this that manufacturers are excited about because they can begin to monetize them already now. We start with the floor cleaning industry, but the same principles can enable any manually operated machine, like a forklift or a construction trowel, and turn it into an autonomous robot. Behind all of this tech is a team of two PhD scientists, three techies, and three business developers. We've each individually had entrepreneurial experience in the past, and collectively we've won robotics competitions across the Baltics and even in Japan. And we're looking to expand this team as a part of a 500,000 pound investment round, which will be used to expand our team finalize product development, and acquire new customers. My name is Matis, and at Squad Robotics, we're guiding manufacturers into the autonomous era. I hope you join us. Thank you. Thank you very much, and that is indeed perfect timing. So one question, which one will it be? Me. Hi. Um, so I just wonder, since you said it's applicable to other industries also, um, which is your next uh, industry that you will be targeting and what is your scale-up strategy? Uh, so about the next industries, uh, the logical step is towards, to more, uh, towards uh, the logistics industry because this is the industry that first of all values uh, efficiency improvements that we can uh, provide and secondly it also is the leading industry that drives all the logistics and manually operated machinery type of industries uh, forward. We, we have seen and about talking with the floor cleaning manufacturers is that they see this industry as being the big brother of them. Like they want to achieve what they have. So we see that we see only fit that our next uh, industry will be this logistics industry. 
And about scaling up, it is more or less about attracting the right type of manufacturers and working with them diligently to, in order to provide value. We are not going to be exclusive to only one of the manufacturers. We see that our technology is applicable to any type of manufacturer and their machines. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much. Squad Robotics, everyone.